recently announced that one of the options for SDS is for it to be distributed to the shareholders and listed separately. What does this mean for Seamless' existing shareholders? Well, this is a, a, a very interesting question. and uh, our, our share price has been um, uh, disappointing uh, to us and shareholders and uh, the board and the management. We've, uh, you know, spent considerable energy in trying to figure out a way to make the market understand the values that um, that we represent as a company. And first of all, we've had very, very big problems in making the market understand that this is, uh, our listed company is really a holding company uh, for, for three different companies. Um, so we've had a, a substantial conglomerate rebate uh, where it could be um, argued that the, the, uh, the, the, p the pieces of Secure are, are individually worth as much as we are worth on, on the stock exchange. Um, I've heard that, that, uh, that argument. Now, <clears throat> so um, what we decided to do is to ask the, um, um, the AGM uh, to approve or not approve uh, the plan that the board has to list uh, SDS uh, on the First North uh, Stock Exchange. Now, <clears throat> we decided to do this in a way such that uh, we will list it there and then we will give all our existing shareholders a uh, free uh, purchase right for, for one share in, in SDS so that the shareholders will not lose out on any value. So should the shareholder feel that the listing price of on First North of SDS is too low, they have the right to, to, to buy first. Um, those um, uh, options uh, in Swedish inköpsrätter, uh, we envision that those would be traded uh, over the counter uh, for a number of weeks uh, during the subscription period. And that means that the shareholders who, uh, existing shareholders of, of Seamless that, that doesn't want to invest in, in SDS as a uh, listed company can sell uh, their uh, inköpsrätter or their options. So uh, when you argue about the, the real value of SDS and, and what, we, what we actually listed at, you know, IPOs tend to be at, at fairly, uh, you know, attractive levels, um, then the difference between the real value of SDS and the listing uh, price should be uh, expressed in the uh, in the options, and uh, then a, a existing shareholder that doesn't want to be part of that uh, of that listing uh, can can simply uh, sell them. So <coughs> you could say that the difference. Um, the difference between today and yesterday in the value of our share is that you now also have a free option uh, to partake in, in the SDS. Um, uh, in the situation where the IPO price would be very high uh, or very expensive, uh, then uh, of course that cash will come in to, um, to Seamless. Uh, and then since we don't have a, a a infinite need of cash. Uh, it could be. Um, it, it could just be that we dividend out uh, the excess uh, to shareholders. So uh, this is a way for us to, in a sense, uh, um, enlighten or enforce uh, that uh, that the values are um, are properly properly represented. So all in all, it uh, should be um, really good for shareholders. That's our expectation. Are there any other reasons why you want to list SDS separately? Well, as I, as I said earlier, um, you know, we, we feel that it's been very hard to communicate to the market uh, because we're a bit of a conglomerate, but there is other reasons too. Um, one is that uh, although Secure was born out of SDS te technology, the core technology, Today there is almost uh, well there is none uh, no technical synergies between the between the companies and uh, 
th there is also no synergies in uh, the markets. I mean, STS is very active in Africa uh, and Asia and the Middle East. Uh, and this is not the markets we think Secure will be in in the foreseeable future. Also, uh, the, um, uh, the the SDS clients are mobile operators all over the world, and Secure has absolutely nothing to do with mobile operators. Uh, Secure, of course, via its daughter company Mia Wallet, has a B two B element, uh, but the the clients there are banks and financial institutions. And then, lastly, of course, Secure is a business to consumer product. Uh, and uh, that has its own challenges and, and opportunities, which, which SDS uh, simply not interested in. So, so uh, you know, it, it makes sense industrially as, as well as financially to, to do this uh, right now. Seamless will be well capitalized if the transaction is made. What will the funds be used for? Well, I mean, uh, Secure has a negative cash flow uh, and will have so for a little while longer, but... Uh, our estimations uh, of how much uh, cash it will take uh, until we reach a um, uh, break even on a cash flow basis. Uh, but we have them, we are not, uh, uh, that's internal estimations, but uh, the, the money will of course uh, be used to that. Now, the negative cash flow of uh, Secure will in the future, and, and actually already starting, uh, coming from uh, marketing. Uh, because essentially the, um, the math becomes very simple in Secure. I mean, Secure is, is uh, finished. I mean, we built it. Uh, it. You know, a product like this will never get finished. But you know, the the bulk of the of the job has been done. Um, so going forward, uh, you 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 shifting the cost base to consumer acquisitions. So uh, it, it's it's uh, uh, very simple. Uh, you spend a certain amount of consumer acquisition cost per consumer, and then you know uh, how often they pay and how much you make on every uh, consumer uh, going forward, especially in the contactless environment where we don't have to do special deals with merchants, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it becomes a um, uh, an IRR, internal rate of return um, uh, question, which is really a sort of a work, working capital question. Uh, so anyway, uh, without going, becoming too complicated, the money is uh, largely going to spend on thing acquisition.